All right, who we got? Stoop kid. <laughs> uh, what's that show? Hey, hey, Arnold. Is that where the Stoop kid's from? Football head. Uh oh. We just got jumped on. Not this time, bro. Not this time. Ooh, that that's hard, man. That's tricky. Wow, wake up super? I mean, if it works, it works. That was a fun trade. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Don't you don't you go airborne against me. Don't you go airborne. Okay, that was nice though. Don't go airborne though. Okay, so I'm thinking my new strat here. My new strat is when I armor up, I'm just gonna walk up, okay? You understand? Too much, I armor up and then I charge and then the armor's gone. But if I can get in and still have armor up, he's so screwed, right? Think about it. Oh, that was sick. I could have punished. I could have comboed off that, I mean. All right, once again, we're we're not going to we're not going to burn our armor. Now we'll use it while we have advantage, you know. Go ahead and jump. Oh god. <laughs> you can see the armor came out on that down heavy. What if I mash though? What if I mash? Wow, that move is fast, man. This must be like one of the better anti-air ultras, right? Look how fast it comes out. All right, so that was a little sloppy, but th th we're 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 gonna be applying this playstyle all day today, okay? The plan is play neutral, and then when we get an advantage, armor up, and then close the gap. Close the gap. Oh, he wow, no rematch from him. Close the gap, then we can apply pressure with the armor up to make our pressure more broken. That's the plan, guys. Pay attention. Irish English is Rhotic though, right? Don't Irish people pronounce the R's at the end of their words? Not quite the same way Americans do, but they still do it, right? Or am I am I full of it? Alright, we've we've complained about this matchup before. I think I've even played this very same player. At least once or twice. What if though? He, he needs to jump out, right? Guess not. Guess he's gonna fight his way out like a pro. Wow, how did he block that? What? Wasn't he in the middle of a move? There we go, baby. We don't pronounce the T in bird words like butter or matter. Yeah, we say it like a D in America. Howdy, JM Croft. Holy cow. Just wanted to pop in and say how much I've been loving your FGC great moment series on YT. Dude, Wumpa Fruit. Thank you so much, man. Wumpa Fruit salad? When did the when did a salad become part of the picture here? Oh, that combo was sick. But anyway, dude, thank you so much for the bits. Um, in case you missed it earlier, I'm willing to say, I'm, I'm at this point ready to say that 
The next episode of Great Moments in Fighting Game History is coming extremely soon. Maybe even... Maybe even tomorrow. Perhaps. You've always been a salad? What am I thinking of where your name was just Wumpa Fruit? Was it like Patreon or, or YouTube or something where you didn't have the salad? Anyway, I, I've worked a lot of today on the next episode. It's very close to being done. Nani? Oh, what a drop though. We would he would have been dead. It's fine. I mean, he would have been dead so much earlier. Yeah, any revelations? Basically, the change that I'm making today that I think is making a huge difference is my game plan is save armor. Save armor for when I get in. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna activate armor and then I'm not just gonna burn it. Like before I would burn armor pretty soon after I activated it. But the thing is, if you have armor, just the option of armor being available, people will respect it. Like look, he's letting he's letting me push him into the corner a little bit just from the threat of the armor. So then I can use that to get in and then use the power of the armor to really destroy people. Oh, whoa, nice. Yeah, I'm holding a thermal detonator, essentially. The other thing I want to mess with is using this to beat Antiers. So I have armor, right? So just push, just push, push, push. Don't let him out of the corner. Push, push, push. See, like, look at, we're getting free damage. Just from the threat of armor, essentially. Like, he, he's kind of in desperation mode because the armor is so scary. And now we can get in, murder him. I mean, look at that, dude. We could have gone into super there to kill. I didn't think about it. But yeah, because we had armor there, we had nothing to fear. Because my charge up would just destroy him. So it would armor through whatever he does and destroy him. So, yeah, it's sick, right? Yeah, we'll have to see what the comeback mechanic is in DBZ, like how it works. I'm personally, I think sparking is really well balanced right now as a comeback mechanic. It might be a little bit too strong for level level one sparking might be too strong, but I think level three sparking is is in a good place. It's not soul crushing like level three X factor, but it's still powerful, at least at lower levels of play. It's not that powerful at like tournament top eight level, but. Alright, push him into the corner, boys. Ooh, big jump out. Let's see if he jumps again. Big DP. Uh-oh. This is getting kind of scary, boys. Don't forget the third hit here. <laughs> Every time you try, to, you try to punish the first two and then the third one comes and wrecks you. Push, push into the corner. Still not wasting my armor. Oh, 
Oh my god, we landed a command throw. Oh, uh, we dropped a combo, boys. I mean... I feel like I feel like I'm getting this matchup figured out and this character in general. I mean, come on. You guys feel like we're getting there? Battle 1. Engage. Nice, 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 nice. Adaptation. I am jumping a lot cuz he's letting me get away with it. All right, armor up. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. You're... Let's get him to the corner. All right, he's pushing back. Don't waste that armor. See, so the the jump S there makes his anti or whiff, so we gain more screen space. See? Uh oh. A uh, mash? <laughs> All right, the push, push, push strat didn't work out, but the mash, mash, mash strat did. All right, let's let's go for something here. Nice, nice, nice. Woo, big confirm. Excellent, excellent. That was really cool. This is his ultra too, right? Yeah, yeah, because his life bar is not blue anymore. All right, I see you. I see you. Great adaptation. I can't lie. I'm not getting away with any freebies anymore. The jump back there was pretty smart, too. Push, push, push. You know, actually, maybe I need to start going to EX Rushmore because... He's actually, like, not letting me gain free real estate in neutral, you know what I mean? So maybe I, I should actually start going back to the old strat of just burn armor for EX charge. Alright, he's, he's baiting me. Much respect. Nice. Good, good adaptation. Good adaptation. We're gonna have to do the same for this match. Um... I'm wondering if maybe a good idea is when I'm armored up, when I'm armored up, maybe I should do the walk, the swag walk, because then if he runs at me, I can counter whatever he does. We'll, we'll try that. All right. See? We could have hit him. Let's armor up again. Swag walk again? Nice. Good anti-air. Swag walk. Okay, didn't get my armor that I needed there. I figured he would bait. Wow, the range. Wow. Oh, the multi hit. <laughs> I've been saving that, dude. I've been saving that. I think the adaptation was good. Um, of actually using my armor in neutral instead of using it for pressure when I get in. Now, he has no fireball, keep in mind. He still has no fireball. There, he finally got it back. Now he has no fireball again for a while but we might just lose. Oh, wow. He, he really chased me down on that one. 
Once again, I figured he would be baiting super there, so I was kind of free to just press buttons. Okay, tough round. Tough round. What went wrong? Ate a bunch of fireballs. <laughs> Uh, would I recommend this game for someone pretty new to fighting games? Uh, yeah, I think Dragon Ball Fighters is easier. If you're just looking for an easy game, I would say go with Fighters. Uh, but this game, I think, will teach you a lot of fundamentals. Like, it'll force you to be good at anti-airing. Uh, it'll make you learn, like, punishes and stuff like that. Dragon Ball Fighters has a pretty different set of fundamentals than most fighting games because of the nature of Super Dash and Vanish and stuff, and the fact that it has assists. See, the swag walk is, is working out. Jump? Thought so. Crouch confirm. Oh, too far! Don't forget the third one. Finish with the super, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I... This is probably the most happy I've been after a win since this game has come out, man. We powered through. Hard matchup. Good adaptation by the opponent. But we ended up powering through. I love this character. I think this is the main. I know I switch every day. I'm like, oh, I want to play Lewayne. Oh, I want to play Vasaraga. But he's so sick, dude. How can I not? How can I not?